What is going on YouTube? Reverse John Stanek from Johnny Radio here bringing you another top five on this glorious top five Friday and guys so excited to be talking to you about Bush the band that came out in the 90s uh, during the whole grunge craze and still continuing to do their thing. Uh, what prompted this video is actually just last week seeing Gavin Rossdale perform Glycerine uh, with an orchestra behind him on the Jimmy Fallon sh show, which was great and just reminded me how many great songs these guys have. So uh, it's going to be hard, but I think I whittled it down to my personal favorites. So let's get right to it at number five. Everything Zen, the opening track from 1994's 16 Stone, the big album that put them on the map, and you're going to see quite a few songs from that record on this list. But yeah, what a great opening track, awesome guitar riff, uh, some great kind of cryptic lyrics, especially, and you know, Gavin Rossdale, he gets this a lot, like where people think there's just like not uh, much substance to his lyricism, but I actually disagree. Uh, this song especially, you know, has a strong message if you're really uh, reading between the lines. And uh, the chorus really gives it away when he says, everything's zen, I don't think so. But it's, you know, he's re reacting to all these people that are saying everything's fine in the world when uh, it clearly uh, is not and was not either in the 90s, same as it ever was. You know, times are hard out there. But um, he does throw some like things that seem a little nonsensical, like I don't believe that Elvis is dead, like just as a bridge for no reason. Uh, but somehow it works, man. That's the thing I love about his songwriting is like, no matter what you think about the lyrics, they stick in your head and, and you want to just sing along and it's just fantastic. And that's just my number five. So now at number four. The Chemicals Between Us from 1999's The Science of Things, which I think is really an underrated album in their catalog. Really uh, strong album overall, but this song in particular, just uh, I think it really uh, overall defines, you know, Bush as a band. Again, really strong guitar work on here by both Gavin and the, the lead guitarist. Uh, the name is uh, not coming to mind, but I had a chance to see them live actually on this tour when they came to to Atlanta and uh, played at the 99X uh, annual festival that they used to have. And they were just, uh, they were so awesome. And uh, I remember something funny actually about halfway through the set, I guess, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, girls were chanting like, take your shirt off to Rossdale. And eventually he did. And he was like, is everyone happy now? And I just thought that was freaking hilarious. But uh, but no, shirt or no shirt, Bush puts on an amazing show. And this is one of those songs that absolutely rocks live. And also the, uh, the kind of cool uh, sound effects that they employ, just top notch. And that's just my number four. So now at number three, Glycerine. You knew I was going to have this on here probably. Already mentioned it once, but uh, yeah, got to have this on your list, man. And it just shows how even stripped back uh, Bush is great, man. The the melody on here, again, the songwriting that uh, really sticks in your head and that, that great catchy chorus. Don't let the days go by, Glycerine. And, you know, the it's so simple. Like even it's just like a four chord thing throughout most of the song um, but the string section really elevates the song it just makes it a timeless masterpiece like even if it had been recorded you know uh, I, I could see this having being done uh, 20 years before 20 years after it just sounds so good and stands the test of time and that's just my number three so now at number two Come Down, another song from 16 Stone. I mean, come on, man. Just all the hits were from this album. And this is a great one. I really love the bass groove on this track and how it really builds and 
by the end of the song when he's going, you know, why do you, why do you, why do you? It's so cool, man. And I love uh, also this deals with some very uh, hefty issues, uh, you know, addiction battles and, and things of that nature. But uh, the chorus is just brilliant, man. Soaring, anthemic. I don't want to come back down from this cloud. It's taken me all this time to find out what I need. Again, uh, the lyricism uh, just always sticks in your mind. It's unforgettable and um, beautiful melodies, anthemic chorus, hooky all the way through, and you got to have it on your list. So that's just my number two now at number one. Machine Head. Once again from 16 Stone. This is my favorite Bush song and I think uh, always will be. I, I don't see how you can top that guitar riff, man. That So cool. I remember this being like one of the first songs that I tried to learn on electric guitar, and I say tried because back then I, I just didn't have the chops to even pull this song off, but uh, really cool, especially when the rhythm guitar kicks in, and of course, you know, uh, the lyrics uh, about this machine head, green to red, and, uh, and the whole breathe in, breathe out thing. It has all these different cool parts to it, and there's not a moment that, um, just doesn't kick ass, man. This is just one of those rock songs that uh, I could listen to whenever it comes on, whether it's, uh, you know, some kind of grunge radio station or just anytime. It's one of those songs that's uh, uplifting. You can like work out to it uh, while also just raising your fists and singing along to it. Got a machine head. It's better than the rest. I mean, come on, man. How can you knock Bush? I mean, just 16 Stone alone, they will always be just like one of the best rock bands from that era. But, uh, you know, there's so many other songs that I could have gone deep uh, gems with other albums. Uh, you know, of course, Swallowed and Greedy Fly come to mind. But uh, and as I said, you know, Bush is still putting out new material, which is nothing to sneeze at. But these, in my opinion, are the absolute best classics that just, uh, you know, you can't top them. So that is my top five, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And guys, we got top fives every Friday, album reviews, so much more. Thank you for watching. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.